Hey, so what's going on guys? Make it with Driven Tech Reviews. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, I got a product from Sikane. So thanks to them for sponsoring today's video. But of course, I'm at liberty to give my honest opinion on what I think of this device right here. So what we have right here is actually an Apple CarPlay Android Auto um, DVR setup for your rear view mirror. So I think you have probably seen uh, a quite a number of these on the market because it's been flooding the market, those brands from China. Okay, so let me pull up the website real quick. So you can see this is the website. So you can see AHD inch display streaming media car DVR. So it's retailing at 86 US dollars. So it's on discount right now. So you can see how it works so it has a reverse camera it's a two channel so it has the front camera and also the reverse camera or rear view camera so i'll be installing it on my beta because i personally have an apple carplay uh, head unit already on my other car so yeah only the beta does not have a uh, really a functioning radio to to begin with by the way we will start off with this so i'll be installing this but i'll be showing you guys all the features uh, through my power bank so that i do not have to Show you guys and try to like explain everything in the dark because it's, it's night time right now at uh, the time of this video so you can see the features it's also dvr is built in wireless carplay and android auto so i'll be showing you carplay because i do not uh, really use an android device so you can see you can do a lot of things you can do a split screen mode so you can have uh, the dvr on one side and the other side you can have the apple carplay so i've actually done the basic setup but i'm going to be showing you guys how to do it as well so you can see fm transmitter with aux connection this is bluetooth basically all the connection you need for basically transmitting music and stuff like that of course it has inbuilt speakers as well which i will be demonstrating 24 hour parking monitoring so you, the camera i believe can be hooked up directly to the any main source of power so like something direct from the battery uh, but of course, I will not be doing that because I'm doing the install myself. So I'm going to keep it simple. So you can see package content and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, pretty self-explanatory. So if you do not want to upgrade your head unit or yeah, do not want to pull any extra wiring, this is probably the simplest solution. So you can keep your original radio and use the FM transmitter to actually transmit out the music. So yeah, it's a win-win situation. So inside, you do get foam. Let me remove that and we get the mirror or I should say the Apple CarPlay unit itself. It has the protective film, that's why it looks like matte texture. Okay, uh, let's go through the other stuff that comes with the box. So here we do have the rear camera. There's the rear camera right here. Because we're pretty long cable, so I, I bet it can fit most uh, SUVs and cars. I'm not sure about like minivans and stuff like that, but I bet you could like use like standard or something, maybe. Because it's uh, just an auxiliary jack right here. So they do give you some uh, sticky pads as well. Stick the camera. You also get this uh, car charger which powers the device through USB-C. So it's a good thing they are not using micro USB anymore. USB-C is the way to go. So yeah, this is very self-explanatory. Do not have a pass-through like other brands, but it's all right. So we do have also here some uh, rubbery, stretchy thing to actually hold the, the DVR or I should say the CarPlay in place so you can just strap in and it just straps on to these hooks right here so you can adjust there are a couple of sizes yeah we do get a plastic pry tool if you do want to push in all the wires in your upholstery and then we get a aux cable so that's about it and of course not to mention uh this metal right here which is i'm not going to read because it's pretty straightforward if you have used any apple carplay device you're going to just be right at home with this one all right so before i get this plugged in and show you guys the features i do want to go through with you guys the ports on this so on the top you get the type c input you get the av for your reverse camera you also get a micro sd cut slot as well as your aux port 
yeah of course you get the mirror itself on the bottom you have your microphones and also the power on and off switch i don't think you'll be using the power on and off switch to be honest uh, but yeah it's there you get some cooling vents you get the two speakers right here i'm not sure whether stereo or mono setup but yeah there are two speakers right here so you also get the camera right here the front camera so this is also extendable so if you ocd about the placement yeah they actually improved on the design because i saw some reviews where it was not able to be retracted or extended i mean it was just a fixed camera and then this is also adjustable you can see right here all right so now that we got it plugged in you can see the startup screen it's a porsche all right so let me show you guys the interface so you can see right here we have carplay android auto dvr so this is the dvr I'll be showing you guys that later once I got the rear camera plugged in. You have also playback for your DVR videos. Of course, we have none here because I do not have an SD card. Then we have audio output. So in terms of audio output, we have coming from the speaker, Bluetooth to your car audio. You have FM, which is basically a FM modulator. So it beams out the music to your car stereo through FM. Then we have AUX. Right here, so you can plug in the cable and then get it plugged in to your aux port in your heat unit. So, very basic setup. Let's go back home. Let's go through the settings. So, we have a quite a number of settings right here. So, we have auto dimming. This auto dimming is not really auto dimming, but it's uh, more like time. Follows the time, so you can see right here. Yeah, it is what it is. We have screensaver, which probably we won't use. Driving position, left or right. So if you're driving on the left side, then you can switch it over, right side, and then so on and so forth. Split screen mode, which is very important. I like this function. So if you're using Apple CarPlay, you can have Apple CarPlay on the left or the right, and then you can have your DVR or something else on the left. So it's a split screen mode. You have assistive touch, yeah, clear connections and all resolution. So I show you the max uh, recording resolution right here. It's 2.5K. So of course you should not expect too much from these cameras because they are yeah pretty basic they do the job so yeah split time microphone and yeah all this reverse line calibration if you do want to connect your camera to your reverse light wire and then you can actually engage the so-called grid lines when you reverse language sound and voice control so yeah pretty self-explanatory Let's see what's this. We do have the volume. This is the main volume control. You can see uh, a bit of lag. Let me just do it quickly. Yeah, you can see there's a bit of lag. You have this. What's this? You can see night mode. This is a brightness. Yeah, now it's on night mode because it's set up in the settings uh, by default. Home, home. Yeah, that's about it. I don't think there's anything else here. All right, so now we're going to connect Apple CarPlay. So you have to look for this one right here. Let's click on that of course they will prompt you on the first time where you just have to go to bluetooth and connect to the device itself yeah so you can see right here this is actually split screen mode so you can actually switch between the front and rear cameras so talking about rear camera let me just get this rear camera plugged in okay guys so i've gotten the rear camera plugged in you can see right here you can see us hi right here of course there's a protector right here which i'm not going to remove yet until i get it installed so yeah, this is the reverse camera for the rear camera and then we can switch to get the front camera. You can see right here is the front camera. So yeah, very uh, straightforward. So you can see we do have our interface right here. So we have Spotify, we have Waze, basically your exact Apple CarPlay setup. So you can see it's, uh, I would say, not the smoothest thing, but it does get the job done. Of course, you will not be consistently touching your rear view mirror by default i mean yeah so you can just leave it there on spotify you can actually play tracks so let me see where the audio output is coming from in a second let me just press a uh, assistive touch so copied from apple okay, let me just adjust the output so you can, i click speaker yeah okay let me go back to apple carplay all right so let me just try a random track see the volume you see right here you can do it max okay before i get like copyright before i get a copyright strike better just turn that off but yeah it's not that loud and uh on top of that it's actually blocked by the mirror 
So I guess you're not going to be getting really loud and clear audio if you are expecting that. Alright, so this has been a sort of like a review and a feature display of this Apple CarPlay Android Auto Rare View Mirror setup right here. So personally, I think that um, I, I, I'm 50-50 on these kind of products. I prefer something that is on my dash instead. Something that is bigger. This is, of course, yeah, it's very wide. It's very nice. Of course, uh, it's not so pixelated. Let me show you guys. It's actually pretty clear, but I'm going to leave this on first for now until I get this installed. So yeah, it's a very clear piece of glass. So you can press one time on the power button to actually just use it as a mirror. But yeah, I would rather just use the rear camera as my mirror since I can do both. I think this is a pretty good product, to be honest. And I think that... Uh, a bit more RAM would have been better. I think this is the maximum size you can go for a uh, setup like this because if anything bigger, you'll be like banging to the visor and stuff like that. And of course, blocking your view as well. So the cables are all like, I would say, L-shaped connectors. Even the original one, the original cable that plugs into your 12 volt socket is also L-shaped. So which means that you're not going to have like any dangling wires anywhere. Just right up to your roof lining and then you just pull the wires and it's a very clean setup. Alright, so thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys like this video. If you did like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.